Have you ever dreamed of owning your own YouTube channel and being able to make money from your videos passively while having the time to do whatever you want? Then this video is for you! In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Google Text to Speech and ChatGPT in making a video for a YouTube automation channel. This means you can create your own channel without having to show your face on video and without having to record your own voice. All this while being absolutely free. Before getting started, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel as you're at home and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our new video uploads discussing numerous methods to make money online. At Asher at Home, we look for only the best and proven money-making methods to share with you guys and we'd appreciate your sharing the love. Alright, now let's get started. What you see here on my screen is called Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. We'll be using this along with ChatGPT and making our script and picture and creating the video and I'll be showing you how to do this later on in the video. If you aren't familiar with Google's text-to-speech, we can click this button Speak It to demo the pre-written text on Google. As the AI bot said, Google Cloud offers over 100 different types of voices available for you to choose from. You can check the drop-down menu for the voice name right here to check out the different voices available. Unfortunately, it does have some limitations and you can't tell from the name whether the voice is male or female since they are a bit generic. We're going to have to do a little bit of trial and error here until we find a voice that we're satisfied with. For example, I'm going to select en-us-neural2-e. Now let's give it a listen. It turns out that this voice is female and let's say I'm okay with this for now. The next thing we'll need is the script for our video. The tool we'll be using is called ChatGPT which is a type of chatbot that is programmed using artificial intelligence or AI that can create scripts for you. If you aren't too familiar with it yet or don't know how to use it, don't worry I'll be showing you how to do so. The best part about this AI program is that it is completely free and the paid version is optional if you want to access the newest features and such. Let's think of some random topic. For example, yoga. We're going to open up ChatGPT and type in here write 400 words on how to get started with yoga. Now, it doesn't have to be about yoga. It can be about anything. It depends on what kind of content you want to have on your channel. If you're doing a channel on sports, you can just replace the word yoga with whatever sport you had in mind or whatever niche you're targeting. We're just using this as an example. We're just gonna hit enter and let it load for a bit. So in this example, let's copy the intro part and probably about 5 or 6 tips and paste it into Google Cloud Text to Speech here. Now, let's use the same voice we picked earlier. In your case, you might want to try out any of the other voices you can see listed here. What I would recommend you do is just type out any short sample text and give the other voices a listen until you find one that seems right for you. For this video, I'll be using this one. When we click the Speak It button here, Google's text-to-speech will begin reading out the script that ChatGPT generated for us earlier. For us to be able to use this speech in our videos, we have to record the audio itself and we're going to do that using the free program called Audacity. Alternatively, if you wanted to, you can choose to record the voiceover yourself if you have a decent mic and aren't too shy to use your voice in your videos. Usually, this is much better and preferred since it sounds more natural. You might hear some people saying that videos using text-to-speech can be monetized, but they're completely wrong. You can monetize your videos even if it uses text-to-speech. Those videos that use text-to-speech and aren't monetized tend to repeat words over and over. They also lack informational or educational content or lacking editing quality. They would just compile a bunch of videos and just add text-to-speech over it. But that's not how it really works. The text-to-speech tool we're using is owned by Google which just so happens to also own YouTube. So there's absolutely no reason they should block monetization when you're using their tools. As an example, you could take a look at this channel which is a YouTube channel that uses text-to-speech and is monetized. Despite utilizing text-to-speech, this channel is monetized because of quality informational content. Okay, so now we have the AI-generated script along with the AI-generated audio speech. What we want to do now is to copy the script we had and paste it into Pictory. We'll also just add more space between these paragraphs right here so they're more spread out like so. Then, what I'll do is under scene settings, I'll create new scenes on line breaks. So remember how we spread out the text paragraphs? What this option does is to create new scenes based on how we split the text so they're separated. It will make a new scene. Victory is another example of a powerful AI technology that we can use. We can select one of the templates here then what the AI now does is it chooses videos per scene based on the content of the text in the script. This makes life much easier so we don't have to individually select these short videos 
video clips ourselves, but rather we can just let the AI do it for us. No need to waste time looking for stock videos online that are related to the topics we want to talk about in our videos means more time we can use doing other stuff. Who wouldn't like that? Once the AI is done running here, you can see that the video is ready for us just in a couple of minutes. You can make further edits like changing the background color of the text or change the color of the text itself or changing its position basically whatever you want to do. You can even hide the text if you wanted to. After making the adjustments, you can just click on apply here, select apply to all if you want to apply the settings to the other scenes. The next step is to go over the scenes that the AI has generated for us. Now, it's not always perfect and some scenes may not be the best fit for our case. So, we always want to double check just to be sure. For example, I don't think that this scene fits the text particularly well. So, what I'm going to do is to search from the library here and manually select one of these videos which I think fits the scene much better visually. So, we're going to go over the rest of the scenes and see if we still want to make any changes. Alright, now if we click on audio right here on the left side, you'll see a part that says my uploads. Here you can upload the audio file of the voiceover that we got from Google Text to Speech. We can also click the background music tab right here to choose among the background music they have available on Pictory. If you wanted to, you can also favorite them if you plan on reusing some of these in your future videos. So let's say we pick this one. We're going to click on apply and then in the audio settings, we also want to lower the volume somewhere under 10% so that it doesn't become louder than the voiceover which is the more important part. Going back to the My Uploads tab, we're going to look for the voiceover file and click Entire Video. Once you do that, the program will automatically sync the video, the text, and the video by itself. So you can just sit back, relax, grab a coffee, and wait until the AI does its magic. Once it's done loading, you can play the video and check if everything's good. See if all the scenes make sense with the voiceover or if the background music is a perfect match and make the necessary adjustments if you need it. So once you're happy with the result, you can click on the branding tab right here and add your intro and outro scenes if you have any. Then afterward, we can go to the format right here and select the resolution we want our video to be in, which is 1080p. Once we're done with that, we can click generate in the upper right hand corner right here, then we just need to wait a few minutes and we're going to have our final video ready for uploading to our YouTube automation channel. So there you have it, that ends today's video on how to utilize Google Text to Speech to make our AI YouTube videos with ChatGPT for free. If you like what you've seen, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel Asher at Home and turn notifications on if you want to see other online money making strategies just like this one. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again in the next video.